guys welcome back to my channel I'm gonna be honest I'm trying to keep energized today it's raining like crazy outside it's like a storm going on in my country called Barbara I think it's Barbara and I just feel like being home watching movies procrastinating eating popcorn and all those stuff so I'm forcing a little bit myself to work today but yeah I just started filming and I already feel energy coming okay so today I have a Halloween themed video for you guys this year the whole situation there won't be any Halloween parties at least in my country there won't be any like people gathering and dressing up so because of that I'm not feeling as motivated as I am on the other years because I actually love Halloween and it's one of my favorite holidays either way what I wanted to say is that I decided to compromise and bring you something Halloween related like you wanted but at the same time I won't do like any fancy costume thing like do-it-yourself costumes like I usually do I won't do that this year because I'm not in the mood so I compromised and I decided to bring you five very very easy Halloween outfits and all the five outfits that I will show you are based on something that I feel is essential on everyone's wardrobe which is the white shirt so one white shirt, five different Halloween outfits enough shit chat, let's roll the intro and start this video Alright, so I'm gonna start dressing up for the first Halloween outfit that I will show you and actually I will do this with every single one of the outfits I will start dressing up and telling you exactly what pieces you need to complete the outfit without saying which character I'm dressing up as I think it will be funnier this way, you can guess while I'm dressing up and then of course when I complete the outfit I will tell you exactly who I'm dressing up as so let's go to the first one all right so for the first outfit you will need a white shirt of course and then we will add a pleated black skirt if you don't have a pleated black you can go with like a pleated gray skirt or chakra whatever you want or maybe a black skirt that is not pleated anything will work so yeah let's put this on all right here is the mini skirt and now what i'm going to do is to actually take the shirt and tie a knot here I'll actually unbutton here have a little more cleavage then I added this almost knee-high socks the higher the better I only have this length but you can go with higher if you want and uh, some loafers we are almost finished on this outfit I told you this is going to be like super 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 easy outfits so we are going to split the hair on the middle and tie it like you're going to do two pigtails although that's not the finished look all right after the pigtails you will braid them so last step is to add this super fluffy hair ties and bring them all up here into the top of the braid and this is it can you guess who am i we're gonna say it at the same time three two one Britney Spears! This is the Britney Spears outfit from the video Baby One More Time She has a cardigan on that I don't own, like a grey cardigan But I think it worked out pretty well just like this Hit me baby one more time first one so so easy the second one also very easy and I will give you a hint on this it's another lady so for this one you can use the same socks and the same shoes that we just used for Britney Spears and we are still going to use the white shirt of course and that leaves us only missing one extra item which is a black dress any black dress you want I'm going to button up the shirt on the neck and I really like that it has this detail with the open sleeve which kind of really reminds me of this character and just like I said I will keep the socks and the loafers for this and once again I will braid my hair but this time I will do the braids here and not up here and with this small touch of hairstyle you probably already know who I'm talking about I really love this character, it's one of my favorites. We are doing exactly the same on this side, just a regular braid, 
Alright, so the braids were the final touch and the outfit is as simple as this. The socks, the loafers, the dress, the shirt and two braids. Can you already guess? Of course you can. Wednesday Adams. It's one of my favorite characters. I love the Adams family. So yeah, Wednesday Adams for y'all. Halloween outfit and this one is not a lady here's the hint it's a man a gentleman not a gentle man the first thing that we are going to put on are some black pants all right so I'm putting the pants on with the shirt inside the pants were so tight that I just removed my entire nail trying to fit in them pants and they say YouTube is not a hard job the next thing we need is actually a vest a very classic button-up vest Next thing is a tie and I'm guessing that you have something like the vest and the tie at home If it's not yours, you can grab from your dad, your grandpa, whatever Just put the tie here under the vest Ooh, I kind of dig this outfit actually to wear on a regular day basis For the shoes, you can actually use the same loafers as before or maybe some boots as long as they are black Next, I will throw on a coat, like a winter coat I wish I have like a darker one, but I don't If you have like a black one or like a navy one, something a little bit darker I think it will work out better, but I only have this one, so it will do And for this costume, I will actually put my hair on a low bun so it can be a little bit more masculine and after you have the bun on you just need one extra accessory which is the final touch of this outfit which is the Barrett hat I think it's Barrett how you say it I actually stole it from my boyfriend for this outfit I think the hat gave it away for you guys but if you haven't guessed it yet or you haven't watched the series and don't know who this character is this is Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders or actually any other character from Peaky Blinders they all dress like this it's a TV show that I really really love and highly recommend to all of you in case you guys haven't watched it yet it's let me show you a better look at my own Tommy Shelby okay guys so three down two to go once again of course the white shirt and now we are going to pair this with some white trousers or white pants all right here we have the pants and i'm going to put the shirt inside the pants once again like we did with tom shelby and for this one i will add some combat boots any combat boots will do black and you're going to put the pants inside the boots like this the next accessory that we are going to add up are actually suspenders i only have black ones if you have white ones the better all right here we have the suspenders and we are actually going to add a hat as well something like this i don't know the name of this hat i should have done my homework before this video so i'm going with a low ponytail for this now last last touch is what makes this outfit which is false lashes probably already guessed if you haven't i'm guessing you haven't watched the movie and if that's the case you need to do yourself a favor and go watch oh my gosh i added too much glue i know this will be a little strange if you don't know um, the character but i'm going to add the eyelashes here underneath the eye which might be a little weird and another one to the top and this is it for this character, it's my favorite from the video I really love the vibe of this outfit and if you haven't guessed it already this is none other than Alex from Clockwork Orange which is a masterpiece of a movie very crazy but please go watch it because it's so so good So we are almost finished, only one outfit left And this one I think is the easiest of them all actually Because you need just the white shirt and the black pants Just the same pants as before And I'm going with the same loafers that I used before as well And then I will open here the shirt, something like this You can suck a little bit of the shirt here for a very relaxed Five. I just want to do something to this hair and the character that I'm doing has bangs as well So I'm gonna keep the bangs and you can get a wig for this many people do but I Once again won't buy anything for this video So I'll just do like a ponytail here because the character has 
shorter hair than I do and I will just twist the ponytail here to the inside and clip it yeah just like this so it looks like I have a kind of a medium bob here and the last touch of magic that really makes this character is actually blood I have here a little bit of like makeup blood but you can use like red lipstick or a red eyeshadow anything red or ketchup anything and you'll put the blood just running from your nose a little bit on the nostrils so it looks more real and with this little final touch I'm guessing that you guessed that it's none other than Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction another amazing movie if you haven't watched you definitely need to watch and it's a very easy character that I really love so let's see this Mia Wallace in action <laughs> Guys, with this bloody nose, I will say goodbye to y'all. Let me know which one was your favorite from all the five outfits. Also, let me know how were you guys guessing, if you guessed it, if it was easy. I really want to know how you guys went on this Halloween quiz. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you next week. And my finger is stained from blood. Bye, guys. Love you.